Testet så. Once I was a kid and I loved the PS2. It was the best thing in the world to me. Friends were also great. Sometimes PS2 and friends came hand in hand. Like literally within the hour of getting iToy, two of my friends came over to play it while I watched on the sofa. They were having so much fun. Anyway, Roy Man 3 was a game on PS2 if you didn't know. And if you didn't know, Rod Man 3 is an iffy ass game. I played it a lot when I was younger and used to say it was one of my favourite PS2 games. But recently I got the game on PC and did a let's play of it. Did it stand the test of time? I don't know. Info. Ray Mum Smee was released, developed, and published by a small developer called SHIT, also known as Ubisoft. They released the game on a lot of platforms, but I'm just going to talk about the PS2 and PC ones. The PS2 and PC versions were released in March of 2003. I don't really remember getting this game or even remember playing it. Ugh. You know when you have fond memories of things as a kid? I just don't seem to get that with this. For instance, I remember peanut butter whenever I carry those bombs in Rayman 2, because I threw the peanut butter as I ate the bombs on the game. What? What I'm trying to say is that I had memories of older games like the second Rayman, but don't seem to have any attachment to this game, even though I used to say it was the, one of the best games I had on PS2. So that would mean it must be quite good, but I've just forgotten about it, right? Well, no. No, it doesn't mean that. It actually just isn't very good at all. Setting. The plot of this game involves mystical creatures, basically. There are these things called lums. Black lums are evil, red lums are health, I guess? And an evil black lum called Andre wants to turn all of the red ones into black lums, also known as hoodlums. Then Rayman's mate eats him, they have three doctors use him as an instrument. You travel to different lands by surfing on a rocket in Druggy Land. So it's your basic platforming story. graphics in this game are really okay, actually. I could tell you some of my favourite parts of the game, so I will. Here's the tower, which I think looks very awesome. Here's the Hoodlum factory, which looks awesome too. And here's your mum, who looks great. Those are just two examples of bits in the game that I like visually. Just want to quickly say also that I really like the soundtrack in this game. It is wacky and a bit odd, but it suits the game perfectly and I really like it. Actually, I'm just going to shout out this part as well because it's also pretty cool looking. Gameplay. This game definitely has variety, but in short doses, which is fine. Rayman will get you to swim, skate, surf, fly, and punch an old woman in the fucking face. The gameplay is, uh, is okay. The variety is nice when it pops up. But to be honest, I just find the game boring. Especially towards the end of the game, my god, I would have rather smashed my nose into a brick wall than play that bit again. I guess this is really where I have the biggest problem with the game. It just isn't that fun. It might have been fun for me when I was younger, and that is why I enjoyed it so much. But unfortunately, playing it again made me actually hate the game. As I play more and more games that I used to own now, I seem to always be disappointed. It's probably a mix between me studying games development at the moment, which makes me see games differently, 
as well as the fact that sometimes memories of these games are better than the actual games. I dread going back and playing some of my all time favourites such as Jack and Daxter or Ratchet and Clank as I fear they will have the same effect as Rayman 3 had on me. But maybe it was just never a good game. Either way, uh, I would say Rayman 3 has unfortunately not stood the test of time. Rayman 4 anyone?